Hello friends, welcome back to Factory IO Tutorials and in this lesson we are going to discuss about the set and reset functions in Control IO. So let's begin. So I create a new project and uh, in the drivers I turn on the Control IO. So before we get started, I simply create a simple system in the factory I.O. I am just doing it to make you understand properly that how the set and reset commands are used. So I take a 4 meter simple conveyor and uh, I take a simple box. and uh, I hold this box vertically upward and uh, put it on the conveyor Okay, so now I place a simple push button to turn on this conveyor. Here we have a start push button. Okay, so we have made and uh, let's open our control IO and uh, make a simple logic and I will explain you that how the set and reset command is used. So I go to function blocks and uh, logical and uh, here we have a set reset. Okay, so the components we have placed in the factory I.O. are can be accessible in the tags. So I go to tags and uh, take this start button which I have placed in the factory I.O. So when I press the start button, the output that is roller conveyor should be on. So first I directly connect this start button with the roller conveyor then i will show the difference that what is difference between when i connect the start button with the set reset and uh, when i directly connect the start button with the roller conveyor so first i connect this start button with the roller conveyor okay so now we will run this logic and uh, I open the factory IO. 
okay so when i press the push button the conveyor starts and when i release it the conveyor stops so we have to keep pressing the push button in order to start the conveyor and to keep it in running condition so this is not a good thing that we should keep pressing the push button in order to start the conveyor so for that we use set and reset command that is also called latching and unlatching if you have watched my previous video that is on automation studio that we have latched and unlatched the output so here we are using set and reset command instead of latching and unlatching so i go to control io again and uh, i break this connection and uh, place this conveyor and uh, start button over here and i connect the start button with the set and the output with the conveyor so now i will run this command again okay so when i press the push button and i release it the conveyor starts and uh, that's it so we don't have to keep pressing it to run the conveyor okay so this is a set command so if i take another push button that is the stop push button in order to stop the conveyor so we simply take a stop push button here we have the stop push button and uh, I place it with the start push button okay so now we have two push buttons the start push button and the stop push button so now what i will do i will simply go to control io and uh, in the tags i will search for the stop push button okay so one more thing you have to keep in your mind that the stop push button is normally closed so for that we need a not logic that we can find it in the logical section right over here we have not that when the stop button is turned on the output is off and when the stop button is off the output is on because the stop button is normally closed whereas the start button is normally open so we don't need any not command or not function but we need a not function for the stop button so i simply connect this stop button with the input and output with the reset so here we have done so now i just run this logic and uh, i also turn on i also get into the run mode over here in the factory io now when i press the first push button that is start button the conveyor is latched and uh, when i press the second push button the conveyor is unlatched so this is the set and reset logic that we are using in the control io so i hope you have understood this is a very simple logic only you have to keep in your mind that start push button is normally open whereas the stop push button is normally closed and for that we have to use the not logic so that's it and also we have learned the set and reset logic that is used instead of latching and unlatching that we have used in the previous videos so i hope you have understood and in the next video we are going to learn the rising and falling edge functions in the control io so hope to see you in the next video thanks for watching